folks. Haven't made a video in a while, but this one was video worthy. So, um, uh, some of you might not know, but last September, uh, Happy New Year, by the way, it's January 2nd, maybe the 1st, um, my server motherboard died when I was moving uh, in my van because vibration sucks. And uh, I uh, had to get a new motherboard. So I wanted to get the same style of motherboard so that I could reuse the, uh, the CPUs and RAM that I had. Uh, but uh, these are... Uh, Xeon server motherboards by Supermicro. I usually buy them off of eBay. And uh, this motherboard uh, wouldn't boot with the CPUs and memory that I had because they are version 2 Xeon. And this motherboard appears to be working. Um, but I'm currently using a V1 um, Xeon, uh, just a quad core. Um, I got it for like $10 off of eBay. And then I had... Uh, uh, a RAM kit that I got for my server, uh, which was only 32 gigs versus the uh, the 128 gig kit that I've got sitting over here, and uh, this this RAM kit is um, 18 1866 megahertz uh, DDR3 registered server memory uh, by Micron. Uh, maybe I can zoom in here. You can see it's 16 gigs per stick. But uh, this memory runs at 1.5 volts, and uh, that's not supported by a certain bias version. And uh, what I had to do was buy a CPU that ran the old bias, and uh, just try and boot it off of one CPU. And it currently, it's this is the first boot. Uh, it's initializing. Uh, I tested it before with both CPUs, 192 gigs of RAM. And uh, it, it wouldn't boot. Um, it would power on. Uh, I did a bunch of research. And you can see that this green flashing light here means that it's working fine. Right? And it was doing that. Right? So it wasn't a dead board. There's no um, speaker on this that goes bleep, bleep, bleep. You know, when it, it makes that noise on some old motherboards or motherboards when uh, the, the motherboard will boot. So... I'm not quite sure what this thing is doing here at the moment, but it's just been initializing. And these do take quite a long time to uh, to initialize. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, this is looking promising. So, I might have the uh, uh, the dual CPU set up with 128 gigs of RAM in it again. And the Xeon CPUs that I have uh, for this, they are 10-core uh, uh, E5 2690 V2. So, and uh, as far as I know, those those CPUs in memory still work, but the motherboard just died. So, hopefully the CPUs didn't get vibrated to death as well. But, uh, so far, looking so good. So, I'll, I'll keep you posted. And uh, just a quick update. Thanks. Cheers.